Maritime Made on Eastlink TV, presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., because great things are happening. Nova Scotia Fisherman Extreme Skin Care products are made in the beautiful Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia. Their signature ingredient is pure organic local kelp, which is said to provide many health benefits for your skin. The Salt and Sea Body Scrub begins with measuring salt into a large mixing bowl. It's worked through by hand to make sure there aren't any clumps in this 24 pounds of salt. Over 10 different base oils and essential oils are measured for this recipe. Powdered kelp, the signature ingredient, is mixed in with the other oils and then are poured into the salt. Organic shea butter is measured, warmed and poured into the salt. And the salt and oil mixture is worked by hand. It's then set to cool for at least two hours where the shea butter will slowly harden again. Once cooled, the mixture is quite dense. Working the scrub by hand, ensuring that the oils and the shea butter are well combined, the final mixing is done. Ice cream scoops are used to fill jars with the sea salt scrub, 5.4 ounces for each jar. Nova Scotian grown sea buckthorn is the essential oil that makes the bright yellow color. The edges of the jars are wiped clean, making sure there's no salt around the edge and the lids are screwed on. Inside each lid is a foil insert that's heated with a cap sealer. Placing it on the top of each lid, the cap sealer quickly conducts heat through the lid and the foil liner seals the top of the jar. Making Nova Scotia Fisherman Rescue Balm begins by measuring out beads of beeswax into a large pot. Next, organic shea butter is weighed, followed by organic refined coconut oil. When coconut oil is refined, it doesn't smell like coconut. This is set aside while the superfats are mixed with kelp and essential oils of tea tree, chamomile, lavender, and geranium. The pot is set in a double boiler and heated until everything is melted, stirring periodically. The superfats and essential oils blend is stirred at this stage. Benzoin is measured and added to the pot. Benzoin is a natural emulsifier. There is also vitamin E in this recipe, which is a natural preservative. The melted mixture is ladled into a warm measuring cup. Each tin is filled with the fragrant mixture by hand. The Rescue Balm skincare product is made with all natural ingredients and is recommended for insect bites, minor cuts and burns, and dry skin. As it begins to cool, the mixture turns solid with a matte finish. After cooling completely, the lids are screwed in place. Nova Scotia Fisherman also makes hand-poured, cold-pressed soap. Paper liners for the soap molds are prepared by cutting paper to the proper shape, fully lining the mold. The paper is waxed on one side, so the finished soap will release from the paper easily. The soap mold is lined with paper, which is secured to the sides of the mold. The first step in mixing the soap is to prepare the lye solution. Water is measured for the large batch of soap. Then while wearing protective gear, the soap maker measures out sodium hydroxide. When water is combined with sodium hydroxide, a natural chemical reaction takes place and the mixture turns into lye which is an essential ingredient for soap making. The reaction creates a lot of heat and needs to cool down before soap making can continue. Coconut, palm, soy and olive oils, as well as stearic acid and shea butter are warmed in a vat, then are poured into a tipper pot and weighed. Super fat mixed with charcoal, kelp, vitamin E and olive oil is mixed together to ensure it's completely blended. The temperature of each liquid is measured. Each needs to be near 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The lye is added to the oil and is combined with a drill mixer. This drill attachment is specially designed for soap making and mixed until it's fully combined. 
Then the natural scents are poured and mixed in. This recipe calls for orange, patchouli, and lavender oils. Once everything is mixed together, the soap maker continues working and watching for the soap to reach the right texture. When the soap starts to form lines on the surface, it's called coming to trace. And that means it's time to pour the soap into the molds. The tipper pot is put in place and out pours the soap. Each recipe fills two molds, while the soap maker works to fill them evenly, scraping out every last bit of soap from the pot. Finally, he smooths out the top for an even finish. The molds are set to dry overnight and the batch coat is noted. After a soap mold dries overnight, it's time for cutting. The loafer tool is used to cut the 20 pound soap mold into five loaves. The tool uses guitar wires to cut through the soft but dense soap. When the wires get looser over time, they are tightened with the guitar keys. A loaf of soap is loaded into the trimmer. Here, the top layer of each loaf is removed for a consistent, smooth top edge. At this stage, the loaves are dried overnight. The next day, using a blade, the soap maker works on the loaves to remove any patterns that may have formed where the soap was in contact with the edge of the mold when it was first made. Next, the loaves are cut into bars. Each loaf makes 11 bars. The bars are weighed for quality assurance. Each bar should be 5.4 ounces. Then the Nova Scotia Fisherman brand is stamped in each and every bar of soap. At this stage, the outside edges of the soap have started to cure and they are slightly darker than the inside. The bars are stacked on drying racks with 98 bars to a tray, taking care to leave enough space around each one so the air can circulate properly. The bars will cure here for the next six weeks. For product tracing and quality assurance, each product at Nova Scotia Fisherman is batch coated. The ingredients label is placed on the product first, then the iconic wave. And lastly, the product label is placed on top. Their retail display boats are handmade locally by Plank Industries, which is a not-for-profit vocational service center that provides a safe work environment for individuals with different capabilities and skill sets. Nova Scotia Fisherman products are available at Sobeys, Superstores, Canadian Tire, and independent retailers all over the world.